Hey, how you doing? You're probably thinking, that's not the gallery. You're right, it's not. As you'll gather from the uh, appropriate head here, I'm in the bush. Yes, I am out here. And you're wondering, what the hell is he doing now? I'll tell you, if you've been looking at the videos, you'll see there's music credits to a one Jack Slander. And this is why we're here. This is Southern Kyoto Prefecture. And we're out here to visit Jack Slander because uh, he lives in one of these fields somewhere. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Slanderland. actually form a large part of the videos that Jack Slander makes for his music. Yeah, he spends a lot of time here. You can see why. It's peaceful. I'll give it that. It's very peaceful. Kyoto is over that way somewhere, I think. here now in Jack Slander's studio. Let's go and see the man himself. Hi guys. No, it's alright. All right. Right. I'll do some magic with the edit button later. Okay. Jack Slander and this is his studio. Well, here we are. This is some of the guitars and stuff here. It's a great setup. It really is cool. Serious question. Maybe about 10 years ago, musicians started referring to themselves as artists. And I found this confusing recently. It's like when you say to someone, I'm an artist, they don't think of a painter or a sculptor or anything like that. They think of a musician. So, my question to you, Jack Slander, is why do you musicians think you're artists now? We didn't call it. Wait, wait a minute. Now I'm suddenly insulted. My wife did <laughs> Why can't we be called musicians? Well, the reason is because you're called musicians. That's why. Yeah. You know what they say about drummers? They don't even fit that category. Oh, oh. that's not nice. Well, I hear that a lot. That's not nice. Do you? Yeah. That's nice. Because there's one thing I would say for a drummer. You're a very good musician. Okay, so, okay. Thank you. Okay. See, drums are also slow. You are working on a new album now, yes? Is that correct? Yeah. How's that going? It's the floodgates have opened. Good. And uh, I actually listened to some of the songs today. And, uh, I think, man, I'm really looking forward to this new album. I really am. Thank you. Yeah. What you said about, you know, having a story to tell. This one started with a song, a very short song, and then I thought, well, what, what made these people do what they did in that song? And then I made the whole thing out of one, starting from one song. And the same thing happened with my latest album, where I had one scene, and then I decided, well, where do these people? What motivated you? All that, all those questions. Right. And that one song became 17 songs. Right. I'll play a bit just in the background here, real quick. This is a bit of one of the songs. This is one of the last. He, he wants horns on the end of this one. Okay, 
Okay, that's it. That's all we get. Oh, that's all we get. That's all we get. But I'm very happy about it. I'm... Oh, I like that one. I do. The guitar's in it. It's catchy. And it's got a good groove to it. Because I like that. As people who watch my videos, um, they know I like dancing because I dance in the gallery quite often. And that's got a groove to it. I like that particular one. I can one. see you doing like this in the yeah. gallery. Yeah, oh, I could do, do that. Do you do this? Yeah. No, I don't do that. But oh. um, kind of more arms out there doing really? this kind of thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. When you're by yourself, you'll be like arms out and shit. Yeah. <laughs> really? I'm always that's dancing in the gallery. But quite often, when, if there's no one in the gallery and I've got a good record on the record player, so you play them. I do like dancing. I often dance in private. I'm a private dancer. <laughs> Can you hold me closer? Tiny. Oh, that's Tiny Dancer, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tina Turner, don't knock Tina don't, Turner. Don't knock, don't. I'm your private dancer. Tiny Dancer. She said private. I know, but Elton John's Tiny Dancer no. swipes the floor no, 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 Tina no. Turner. Elton John's a good guy, dancer. I like Elton John. But... Hey, are you challenging my opinion here? <laughs> Oops. Right, but anyway. Anyway. Yes. I don't know what the purpose of this was. Purpose is just to have a chat on the camera. Le camera. And in a spontaneous and relaxed way. Cheers, man. Cheers, man. Thanks for coming. Good luck over. with the album. Thank you, and good luck with your everything. Because <laughs> yeah. I need it. <laughs> you, every, every damn thing. Every element of your life. Good luck with that. Anyway. Thanks. Until next time. If you like watching paint dry, literally, you've come to the right place. Because uh, today we're going to be taking down Peter Taylor's excellent drawings and then got to get ready for the Secret Six. Secret Six, which is the uh, next exhibition, photography exhibition. If you're lucky, you might see me fall out the window because uh, I have to hang out the window here. It's the fourth floor. I have to hang out the window to take some of these frames off and put stuff up. So yeah, you might see me fall out the window later. Okay, so yeah, take it.
the sometimes spontaneous jazz music. <laughs> Thunder, surely. It sounds like thunder. Mm -hmm. Anyway, secret six, three weeks gone. <laughs> like that. It's over. And uh, yeah, good exhibition. Great photographs. I mean, look at this one. This is great. This guy will never do another self portrait ever. And it was a good one. It's all over. And we had quite a few visitors, quite busy, especially yesterday and today. And uh, yeah, the greatest ever photography exhibition that ever happened in Osaka this month has finished and uh, it'll never happen again these guys will never be together again unfortunately but who knows hey eh? who knows hello welcome to another video that you might get to see one day <laughs> quickly approaching our first anniversary which is pretty Amazing and scary at the same time. It's amazing because we're still here and scary because uh, we're still here So what's going to be happening is I'm be taking down the rest of uh, the secret six which was this exhibition we had the uh, Six photography gallery owners in Osaka legends of the uh, kind of rental space photography gallery world. We had the exhibition three weeks. It was great actually. The um, portraits are very interesting. They all have different styles and the way they see themselves. I've got to come in here now and set up Nude. Nude is an exhibition by three photographers. Um, one I've known for a little bit and quite like his photographs. The other two I just met recently. It's our first rental. We don't normally do rentals but as I said the photographer I know asked me if you could rent, a uh, rent the gallery for a week in June. Uh, I talked to her with the chief and she said, uh, okay, let's try it. I was gonna live stream it, but I did a live stream a month ago uh, when I was setting up the Secret Six and afterwards YouTube hit me up with a lot of copyright challenges to do with the music that I was playing in the background. Even though I showed all the records I was going to play up I said like because I own the damn records they're mine but it's all to do with monetization and even though this channels aren't monetized yet YouTube's like bang 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 it's like challenge 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 on the copyright and almost all of them were to do with David Bowie songs we played the David Bowie album the whole album and it's almost all the songs on the album we've got challenged so I won't be live streaming we're gonna go back to the hyperlapse. So once I stop yip yapping on here, be cutting to the hyperlapse. feeling that was the easy part <laughs> yeah looks all right to me looks straight even let's hope mr. Yabamoto is happy with that I hope so all right had lunch and 
do the class, two hour class online. Not dressed like this, of course. Professional. And now, I'm going to be working on Sophie's photographs on these two walls. Uh, I hope it goes as smoothly as this morning. But there's a lot of uh, smaller ones here. 13 pieces. Ooh. Uh, it's a bit more complicated this layout, but uh, we'll see how we go. Tuesday of May, Tuesday 31st of May. I'm here at the gallery again, just uh, finishing off. Well, <laughs> I still got one more artist to put, but I've not finished off at all. Look at it, you can see it's blank. So yes, I got to put up a uh, Makoto San's uh, nine photographs. He's very kindly done a nice little plan as well. We're putting his photographs on the doors. I've been putting it off, putting it off, and putting it off because I don't want to put holes in the doors with nails or pins. In previous videos you'll have seen me hanging out the windows, putting pins on the back because I'm so paranoid or anal about not putting holes in these doors, but it looks like I have to bite the bullet. Um, I've been here this morning trying out different things uh, for Makoto San's prints, the frames, and it looks like we're going to have to go down the nail road. Unfortunately, but that's not a criticism. I gotta be more positive. Uh, yesterday, we were watching footage of me yesterday, uh, the chief and I, and uh, she said, it's like 10 minutes of you whinging. <laughs> I have to be more positive, because you know, no one wants to hear whinging, no one wants to hear negative comments. Everyone wants to be happy, don't they? I don't know why. It's not like you live in a bad world, is it? Right. Okay, um, it's almost time for lunch. Uh, I think I will have lunch. No, I won't. I'm gonna put one of these up, see what happens. Then I'll have lunch, and then I've got to teach for three hours. And after that, then I'll finish off. So, yes, you know what that means. I collapse.